Hey folks, welcome back to 24 Karat Lifestyle. Today I will be making this photo light box. I have seen them on Amazon in different places and they range in price from about $12 all the way up to $50. Now if you're ordering from somewhere and they aren't charging shipping, you can probably get a good deal. But I decided to make my own and I did it for about $10. So here you see the items needed. Um, <clears throat> I have five foam boards. You'll need LED lights, tissue paper, an X-Acto knife, glue gun and sticks, pencil or pen, um, 12 AAA batteries, and Elmer's glue or white paint. What you don't see pictured is a yardstick or either dowel rods. I have a yardstick, but I'm not quite sure where it is, so I am using a dowel rod for this project. What you will see me doing first is taking my dowel rod and running it across my foam board. The reason that I am doing this is because I need to be able to center the LED lights. So I'm just drawing a line horizontally and vertically on the board to be able to place the LED lights and draw an outline so that I can cut them out with my X-Acto knife. Really simple, not anything complicated, and all of my materials, if I neglected to mention earlier, did come from the Dollar Tree. So thus the ability to be able to create this for about $10, nothing complicated. And I think it turned out pretty good. So just keep watching. Also, if you are new to our channel, thank you for joining us and taking your time to watch what we have to offer. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell to stay updated on new content that we offer. So here I have my foam board um, cut out. Everything is um, lined up properly for my LED lights. Once this particular portion of my photo light box is done, then what I will go ahead and do is just kind of line up the edges to kind of see how I want everything put together and then I will begin to glue or use my hot glue gun rather to glue the sides together. Now I'm making my box kind of large and you can get them in varying sizes but I'm making mine large because in addition to crafts I bake cakes and some of my cakes are not one tier cakes. Sometimes they're taller than that. And so I want to be able to turn the box what, whichever way I need to turn it in order to be able to get crisp, clean pictures of my cakes. That's the other reason why I did not take the time to glue or permanently place my lights within the box because I want to be able to change it out as I need to to suit whatever it is that I am taking pictures of at that moment. At this point what you are watching here is me basically just hot gluing 
my boards together once I've completed my cutouts. And so I will do that for all five pieces. Now what you don't see off camera is that some of my boards or two of my boards um, with the circular cutouts were a little bit longer um, than the, how can I say, height of the photo box. So I had to kind of cut those down. But nonetheless, um, it turned out great. So here you see the finished photo box, the two square LED light cutouts at the top, and then the two round cutouts on the side. And you can see they're a little lower to the box. That's where I had to cut the boards in order for the top or the bottom, shall I say, to fit properly. From this point, all I'm doing is just taking my Elmer's glue and white paint, pretty much, to just kind of cover up the seams. But the seams are not so much a big deal for me, just because I will be using different backgrounds within the photo box. So you won't really see the seams, but in the event that I should have to take something that's rather large, I don't want, or I want the seams to be as invisible as possible. But nonetheless, just filling in the seams with glue and then going over it with white paint and just kind of washing or wiping everything out so that it looks smooth for the most part nothing complicated and here like I said is where the lights will go and don't forget you need 12 triple a batteries for each of your LED lights that come from the dollar store nothing complicated you can do it here you see me you notice I've already started putting my lights in and I'm just showing you the um, glue that I use. Instead of using the Elmer's, I use the Scotch High Performance glue. It dries pretty fast. I think I got this glue from Hobby Lobby a while ago, so I already had that on hand. But again, just the seams, just trying to kind of clean it up some. But because when I take my photos, I'll be cropping them out, you won't really see the seams anyway. And I'll also be using a background of, of some sort to disguise or hide. But at any rate, make sure that you're following the directions for your LED lights for installing your batteries. Again, I did not take the time to make my lights a permanent fixture in this box as i said because at some point i will be changing the box up or using it at different angles or in different positions depending on what it is i'm photographing so but you can make your lights permanent if you want to it's completely up to you it's your project here you see me using the tissue paper and the only reason that I am using this tissue paper is because I will be covering the lights to kind of try to make the glow a little softer. But I'm going to be honest with you, as you'll see in later frames, I don't really know that the tissue paper makes much of a difference. I will say that I noticed in practicing and filming here, with it that with the tissue paper you see less shadow shall i say of whatever it is that you are photographing and all i did was take the tissue paper and just tape it at the top i didn't even bother to tape it at the bottom but i taped it at the top um, of each light and the lights on the top I, I did kind of cover a little bit more but the two lights on the side I just taped the tissue paper at the top to cover and then I just placed my objects within to kind of see 
what it looked like or what it would what the difference would be shall I say but like I said it just the tissue paper just kind of cuts down to me on the shadow of the of the objects like you notice here you see the shadow on the bottom but when I remove the tissue paper you'll you'll not only see the shadow on the bottom but you'll see the shadows on the side of the box too so to each his own it's your own preference however you want to do it. it's completely up to you it's your shadow box and just remember you can make this as big or as small as you want to what you'll have to do is just measure 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 and cut once and then put your box together so basically you can cut your foam board to fit whatever size you want it to fit to make your photography light box but here you see smooth transition crisp clean background and that's what you're going for with enough light to illuminate your product so here you see me I've taken the tissue paper off the photos still look really good to me so it's just you know your preference like I said I'm not too worried about the seams or the lights because I can crop those out when I get ready to put up my pictures at any rate I thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more content you guys be blessed